Well, Doug, some news uh, breaking for the St. Louis Blues today as the team is getting ready to play in Florida, winding up the final two road games of the regular season. You get an old friend back in, in Vladimir Sabotka. It's been a heck of a long saga. I know there were constant questions coming your way, but uh, what came about that all of a sudden has what will now be number 71 playing back for the St. Louis Blues? Well, his contract, he signed a three-year contract with some outs in, uh, in the KHL, and uh, that that changed as, as the three years went along, but he was officially... Uh, his contract ended uh, on April 30th. He had to buy his way out of the last couple of weeks of that, which he was able to do. And I started to work with his uh, representative, Craig Oster of Newport Sports, a couple of weeks ago to talk about this on uh, the what if. And uh, Vlad and I had some really good conversations uh, on why I thought it would be time for him to come back here and uh, how we fit into our group. And it just sort of uh, uh, grabbed, uh, grabbed seat at that point. And, and things moved ahead to where we are today, where he's uh, signing a one-year deal or, or playing out that uh, arbitration award uh, from a few years ago and uh, agreed to a new three-year contract starting July 1st this year and uh, so we're excited to have this behind us and, and have Vladdy back. What in your mind has changed from when you attempted to sign him a few years ago to the signing him to a three-year deal now? Well, three years ago uh, was really the first year the salary cap didn't take a big increase. Uh, we knew that we had Jaden Schwartz to deal with that summer, and if you remember back, that took a couple weeks into training camp. Uh, we didn't want to be in a position to get hit with an offer sheet, uh, so we just we wanted to go one year at that time. We felt that we could uh, deal with this on, in January on, on the extension. Uh, Vladdy had different uh, opinions and he had options and at the end of the day what we tried to do with Vladdy is have an understanding that he made a business decision and I respected that and we tried to keep an open line of communication with each other uh, and I think that paid off in the end that we uh, nobody said anything that was damaging to the long-term relationship. And for bringing a player back this late in the season you don't anticipate any issues at all? Uh, no, I talked to, to uh, some of our players about having him back in. They're excited to have him back in. Uh, you know we're, we're excited he he knows probably half the guys on this roster but he doesn't know the coaches so it's it's going to be new for him i'm sure he's a little bit nervous but it's going to be great to have him back in here and uh, uh not only for the rest of this year but moving forward uh, he'll be eligible to play in raleigh when the team takes on the hurricanes on saturday night uh, what are the playoff implications of this uh well we're going to get up i'm running uh, uh Coach uh, Mike Yo and I will meet with him tomorrow morning and have breakfast. Uh, he just cleared his medical, passed his medical in Raleigh, and he's here ready to go. So uh, it's now uh, I, I move that over to the coach's uh, office now, and they're going to have to make that decision on when they think he's ready to go and how he best fits into our roster. What do you know about his play recently and how he was being used over in the KHL? Uh, well, one of the, that's one of the interesting things. Uh, when he signed in the KHL, it was as a top, uh, a top offensive player, a player that was played in offensive situations, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how, uh, how his games evolved. I've had the opportunity to watch him play on his national team, in which he, he plays a top six role uh, uh, for the Czech team, and so uh, I'm looking forward to see him coming back to see if there's been a, uh, how his game has evolved. Uh, but as I said, if, if we just get the exact same player back that left, uh, that's a player that's getting about almost half a, half a point a game uh, and plays a little bit of a snarl. I think the game's evolved too, where it's to his style of play, you know, it's got a little bit of quickness and he can get in on the four check, plays with an edge. And one thing that we're excited about is uh, the face-offs. We might start with the puck a little bit more than we have been recently. And that is a, that is, that'd be like what a face-off sounds like when the Blues win it right now. So that has been an issue lately. So th this could be a real help heading into the postseason, couldn't it? Well, exactly. Obviously, Paul was our top face-off guy, and he's been out a little while. So I think any time you can add a reinforcement to your group uh, this time of year, it's a positive. Just for you, is, is it nice to kind of have this done and moved on and, and, and less questions over a three-year period? Yeah, I, I think this year what we really try to do is, is to, to put it away on the back burner and not discuss it when people wanted to. Uh, in the past, we've, we've, we've probably engaged in the conversation uh, uh, more than necessary. So this year, we, we wanted to wait till we had something to report, which we do today. He's, he's coming back to St. Louis, and uh, now we can move forward. Well, well, one last thing for you along these lines. Uh, when he does get into that lineup and, and you're watching it, if it's been a little while since he even played a KHL game, is, is there still a, a bit of a process you just want to see where his game is completely at just from a physical standpoint? Well, again, I well, turn... Well, physicality, I guess. Yeah, again, I turn that over to the coaches now. Uh, uh, there's players uh, from all rosters that have had a few weeks off right now due to injuries or whatever, and they're going to uh, get implemented back into their roster. So uh, I, I sort of view it like that. I, I know that uh, when he's playing well, he's a very good NHL player, and uh, you can always find room for NHL players. Have you, uh, having talked to him, is he excited? 
I, as, as much as he gets excited, he's excited, yeah, yeah. You know what, we're doing this down near the ice in Florida. It's like we're doing it in, in, in the middle of a, a street in New York City with all the noise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hope it's as noisy during the game. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, that's Blues uh, General Manager Doug Armstrong.